Hello, Lake Wildwood, and welcome to The Pulse, Lake Wildwood's news and information program. My name is Paul Town, and this is the news for the week starting Friday, May 3rd. From our general manager, Bob Mariani, do you know someone who would love to play our golf course on a regular basis, but lives outside our gates and is not a member of Lake Wildwood? Now is their opportunity. Lake Wildwood is offering a very limited number of outside public golf packages. We'd like the friends or family members of Lake Wildwood to have the first opportunity to take advantage of this limited program. If you know someone that would be interested, please have your friend or family call Jim Knight at 432-1163 to obtain an application and get more information about this fantastic opportunity. If you have a boat docked on the lake, please check it for goose eggs. If you find any, please dispose of them so the geese population is maintained at the lowest level possible. It is very important to keep the population low so that the goose droppings and E. coli is minimized, which will also help keep the beaches clean and our swimmers, lake users, healthy. Bob reminds everyone that the campgrounds will be available for green waste disposal every weekend in May from 8 to 4. As a side note, volunteers are needed to help with the process by checking people in and directing traffic. If you'd like to help, contact Olivia Torbett at 530-446-6169. Bob invites everyone to the evacuation town hall that will be held on Thursday, May 23rd from 6.30 to 8.30 in the Cedar Room. Representatives from the Sheriff's Department and Penn Valley Fire will be on hand, so this is a don't miss meeting. The Board of Directors Planning Meeting will be May 8th at 1.30 in the Cedar Room, and the Business Meeting will be May 28th also at 1.30, but in the Lake Room. Agendas and board packets are available at lwwa.org. The following committees meet this week. Ad Hoc Fire meets Monday at 3 in the Dogwood Room. Parts and Rec also meets on Monday at 3 in the Manzanita Room. Environmental Ma Management meets Tuesday at 8.30 in the morning in the Manzanita Room. Also on Tuesday, Golf meets at 2 in the Acorn Room, and Public Works meets on Tuesday at 9 in the Dogwood Room. On Thursday, Public Safety meets in the Dogwood Room at 3. All members, watch your mail for the 2019-20 assessment mail. On May 1st, statements and coupon books were mailed to all Lake Wildwood members. This year, as last year, members will be sending their payments directly to the Payment Processing Center in Nevada. The address is on the coupon. When mailing payments, please make sure to include the coupon or statement. It contains important information to assure the payment gets posted correctly. The coupon also contains all the information required to submit a payment online at lwwa.org or through your bank's bill pay and provide you with the association's ID as well as your membership account number. Documents containing important information regarding amenities will be included in the assessment mail mailer. Assessment payments are due by June 1st and must be received by June 15th. Amenities. New this year, the amenity enrollment form is available online at lwwa.org and at locations around the community and will not be mailed to your home. Lake Wildwood owners and tenants will be able to complete the digital amenity form online, print it out, and mail it to administration office for the fastest processing. Members only need to write one check for amenities and space rental. So if a member has a space rental, he or she will receive a statement in the mail and include that with the amenity enrollment form, all on the same check. 
which can be mailed or dropped off to administration or one of the convenient drop boxes at the gates or in front of the association's office. Why wait in line? Save time and mail the form and payments. Amenity processing will begin May 6th. EMO reminds us to keep weeds and grasses at a height of four inches or less. Summer is around the corner and the association will have a number of openings. We'll be hiring lifeguards, day camp counselors, lakeside cafe attendants, and boat patrol staff. We also have openings for park maintenance, dishwashers, and bussers. If you're interested in joining our team, applications are available at our website or pick one up at administration. Tools, Trash, and Treasures is this weekend on the north side. Tomorrow night, karaoke will be held on the terrace from 5.30 to 8.30. There will be a Mother's Day brunch from 10 to 2 in the Cedar Room. $40 for adults and $20 for children. Call 432-1154 to make reservations. The Pro Shop is offering two programs for beginner golfers. Let's Get Golf Ready Lake Wildwood starts May 11th and the Junior Golf Program for ages 7 to 17 starts July 8th. Call 432-1163 for more information or to register. On May 19th, Lake Wildwood will host the military men and women stationed at Beale Air Force Base to a round of golf and food afterwards. This is the sixth year in a row that Lake Wildwood has hosted Beale Air Force military men and women to say thank you for your service. If you'd like to volunteer or donate the use of your golf cart, there is a sign-up sheet posted on the bulletin board opposite the men's restroom. For more information, contact Judy McCullum at 432-1189. Pickleball Friday Night Social is back every Friday starting at 5 at Meadow Park. Bring a dish to share, plus your bev beverage and a chair. Oh, and don't forget to bring your paddle. The Lake Wildwood Garden Club invites you to 13683 Forest Park Circle on Saturday, May 4th from 8 to 4 for its special sale at Tools, Trash, and Treasures. Members of the Garden Club have been busy gathering their garden-related items for sale at very reasonable prices, as well as lots of plants. All funds earned by the Garden Club will be used for beautifying the Lake Wildwood community. Questions? Call Terry at 432-3381 or Pat at 802-1084. The newly formed Lake Wildwood Water Sports Club is hosting its kickoff and lunch barbecue on May 18th at Commodore Park. The club will be providing lunches, burgers, and hot dogs for anyone interested in becoming a member. Please join us at 1130 for an informational meeting and the barbecue will be at 12. And water sports in the lake afterwards. Bring the kids and let's all have some fun living on the lake. The writers group meets May 6th in the Dogwood Room at 2. Security reports last Sunday morning at about 7 a.m. two people were walking their dogs on Fair Oaks Drive. Both had their dogs on leashes, but as the dogs got near each other, a dog fight started. In the process of breaking up the fight, a Fair Oaks resident was bitten on both hands and leg. He remained at the scene and both security and Penn Valley Fire responded to assist. Fire personnel treated the resident's injuries and he refused additional help. The other party had left the scene prior to our arrival. Security officers spent a good deal of time that day and that evening canvassing the neighborhood trying to locate the other party without success. That person is described as a white male with gray hair and a ball cap. He had two dogs and one dog was described as a medium size black and white. If you have any, any information, please call security. And that's the news for this week. 
I want to thank you all for watching The Pulse. Don't forget, you can subscribe to The Pulse on YouTube by just putting The Pulse Lake Wildwood in the search box and it'll pop up and just hit the subscribe button. And have a great week.